Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. Somebody sent me this file and they want to do this right here. Evenly spaced lines, like kind of like a railroad track without the rails. But he's having trouble with the blend tool. So if we take these two items, I shouldn't say he's having trouble, it's just not working out for him. Go to effects and blend. And if we go, he wants 50 of them on this. So we hit apply. And then we go blend a new path. And then we go blend along full path and actually rotate items. He gets that right there. And that's not what he wants. So you got to kind of think of it. If that worked, we need to, well, hopefully these, you know, these are still blended together, break the blend apart. Let's rotate this to zero. Let's actually take this one away. And we're going to take this one away and just make a duplicate of this and put it right there. Select both those, blend them 50 times, and you get this, which doesn't seem like it would work. But if you go a new path and then go blend along full path and rotate all objects, you get that and it works. This would be a really neat way to make a train track. Uh... I've never thought about it, but you could almost do any shape and you've already got your path. So if you took uh, this path and let's go ahead and break the, I'm just, I'm going beyond what he wanted. We we'll just give somebody else some idea. Let's let me set my nudge factor on something pretty high and I'm going to grab my path and I'm going to go, the best way to do something like this would be to contour. So let's contour Let's go to effects and contour. Let's just contour the outside like 0.25. I got it set on white from a previous, uh, previous blend or previous contour. And let's contour it in red. That's not quite enough. Let's go a half inch, 0.5. Well, I didn't back up, so it just did it. 0.5. I backed up to white. Uh, sometimes I'll, this will happen. You want you want black or red, and it won't contour. But if you just kind of click off of it, it will. Now, because we've nudged and not moved anything, if we will take this and take this and break the curve apart and try to get our interior contour, which we did, and then take this and take your shape tool and break some nodes apart. Just break those nodes apart right there and break apart, and you can break that line. And if you cut that line, you're going to cut the whole thing because you did break it apart. So grab your shape tool and grab those two nodes, right-click and break apart, and then you could either just move it out of the way, but you could do this. Now let's take these, let me move this out of the way. Let's take these two lines and make them black. And let's make them a little bit thicker than a hairline. And let's nudge them back. And that looks like a train track. I could have gone a little bit more than a half inch. Anyway, I hope that helped him and hope somebody someday. And thank you for watching.